All right, Lanta, so in less than four days' time, we are going to be getting the Bleach Brave Souls anime Bonka livestream special. And with that, of course, we know something exciting is coming. And there's no other better banner to release other than a new Thousand Year Blood War banner, Thousand Year Blood War Round 16. And within this video, we're going to be talking about what characters we could potentially see. And assuming it's going to be these three particular characters I have laid out, what can we expect to see with their character gameplay and strong attacks and kit, for example? So we did briefly mention this on our video what to expect in the bunker live stream where we broke down the schedule the guests that are going to be on the live stream and when that video i did say a little prediction and who i think it's going to be a quick tldw i personally believe and this is what i want to see a new ichigon a new kuge and also a new Ebon. in my opinion this is the best thing to actually do and it would make the most sense the reason for that is because this thousand year blood war banner despite being round 16 should be treated as the anime comeback banner when this banner is out september end of month it will be out until basically october 12th i believe which is when the first episode does air so if caleb want to build up the most hype for this particular banner and get people ready for the thousand year blood war anime the best thing to do is to release characters that we are going to see in those first couple episodes and of course there's no other better characters than a new ichigo to introduce us back to thousand year blood war a new kuge a character that's been in game for a very long time now in terms of his model but at the same time our first introduction to the stern ritter and then potentially a new eban just to round up the banner if they do want to give us a free character banner this easily could be a two character banner but i do want eban in game mainly due to the fact that he does have some interesting abilities and i do think he's I don't think he's kind of cool. He's alright. But I just want to see most characters in the Thousand Year Battle are covered in this game. And I feel like he deserves a character at the very least. And this like it's only time to actually get one. Because when are we next going to get an Eban? I don't think that's ever going to happen. So, you know, do him some justice. Let's try and get most characters, at least relevant characters. And he has his moments. So I would actually unironically like to see him in game. Now what we have gone ahead and done here is a little prediction, right? This is not official. It's on BBS Simulator. We're just talking about what we could expect to see. Now in Ichigo's case, we have been asking for many years to get a new TLA Ichigo. Whether it's Shikai or Bankai, I think all of us would be happy to get a new Ichigo. And I think in this case, the best way to do it is to give us both with a transforming Ichigo. It's been a long time since we've had a transforming character. And I think this would be a really cool way to give us one, a new Ichigo, despite us getting one like two months ago. And two, give us a really hype canon character because you know the last Ichigos that we have gotten most of them have just been originals slash seasonals it's been a while since we received a canon Ichigo so this is the perfect way to do it by giving us a new TLA Ichigo or in his TLA design because technically it's thousand year blood at this point his forbring outfit essentially in the Shikai outfit and then either give him a transforming special or give him a Bankai button but thirdly and the way I'm designing this character for the most part is that he is going to have the Bankai button the reason for that is because I want the special to be just him doing a get a potential that's what i want to see just a simple get a potential call it day with the new anime colors and i will perfectly be happy with this particular character especially again if it is transforming it means he is going to have the bankai button and that will open up for some quite a fun set of gameplay despite him being a hard character where there are already a massive amount of op characters in this particular attribute so if they were to give him a bankai button that would make him quite unique to a certain extent and at the same time i've also gone ahead and give him a holo killer because technically the first five or so minutes that we're going to see Ichigo get reintroduced in the new anime episode. He is going to be fighting Hollows. So it kind of makes sense to give him a Hollow Killer if they want to go down that route. And again, this would personally build a lot of excitement for this particular character, especially in the Heart Attribute, where there is some tough competition, is that there isn't really any good Heart Hollow Killers, like at all. The, the most recent ones, I think, are NAD characters, and you're not going to really use them for normal PV content. So I feel like this character here, if they were to give him the Transform mechanic, go from Shikai to Bankai, have his special or Soul Bomb, and get a potential in the new anime colors and you give him a holo killer that would be really hype i think that's the the way i'll be most excited for this particular character at least in my opinion now going alongside that what we have given it is a 40 percent bazooka 40% more damage to weaken Dennis because we did give him a weaken in every single attack. And we also gave him Frenzy plus 2 with damage inflicted at full stamina plus 20%. So I kind of made him base it because keep in mind, if he was to come with the Bankai button, he would get that extra 30% magnification increase when he does transform. And obviously when he does transform, he's going to have that increased chance of inflicting stat elements for the first 10 seconds in that transform state. He will come with two flash steps. Of course, he will have Havoc, Debilitator, Devastation 40, and also 20% Bruiser. So a very 
very simple character with the idea that he's just going to do a lot of damage with the transform mechanic. He will come with guard break in his innate abilities with, again, the increased shunt deflecting star elements. And then as for his strong attacks, a simple beam SA1, maybe a 960 SA2. Just give him the old god kit. 960 SA2, distant AoE, and then a full screen strong attack 3 is what I personally want to see. And I think the visual would look great. Again, what I'm really hoping with this particular character, outside of the fact that they could make him a transforming character or they could give him, you know, really good strong attacks or skills, I want to see him with the new anime colors. Because that's going to be a big thing when we watch episode 1 is that Ichigo's colors where his Getsuga Tensho, his aura and stuff like that is going to be a lot different. And it would be really cool for Kara to reference the anime more so than referencing the manga in my opinion. That's what I personally want to see with this particular character. And if they were to do something like this or make him better, again, I'm not a developer. I don't know how to make characters. I'm just going off of what I potentially want to see. This would be hype, but they can definitely make it more exciting by giving him maybe unique mechanics. But regardless of that, a new Ichigo with a Getsuga Tensha Soul Bomb, new anime colors, and a transform mechanic with the Bankai button is enough to make me satisfied as an Ichigo fan. Let's move on to our second character, Iban. Now, Iban... If he ever was to come to the game, and hopefully I'm saying their names right, I will correct myself whenever we get the anime, we can hear him in the anime, but as of right now, I'm just going to call him Iban, right? Now, Iban, I think if he ever was to come out, he would be a character mainly just designed for Guild Quest. That's why I really see it, just a Guild Quest character. So that's basically the way I designed him. He does say melee here, but I would assume he would be a ranged character. We're kind of going under the impression here that he's a ranged character. So if I was to change that, I would change these to blue attacks and I would change Marauder into Sharpshooter. But I've given him burn and also weakening with a SA2 that is a boost and a barrier. Now, I, I've made him quite stacked, to be fair. I don't think this is going to happen. Even if they did go down this route, I think they would balance it quite a bit because I, I think I made him a bit cracked here. So, I gave him a Marauder. I gave him multi-barrier, right? And also a booster. So, not only is he brought the team with a three-hit barrier and a five-hit barrier for himself, he's also going to be a booster, increasing your attack focus and defense by 43%. I think that's a bit too much. Uh, I don't think they'd ever do it on Iban, but that's just, again, what I was going with. I was feeling a bit frisky by getting those stuff so you know if they want to make Ebon exciting they got to make him OP right no one's really that excited for him so that's what I gave him and the idea for this particular character is that he would just be a guild quest character right maybe do more damage in guild quest if they want to do that but I gave him a spider killer now that doesn't really make the most sense but maybe it does who knows who cares and for those that are playing guild quest you would know that we kind of need a new we just need an Esparta booster right now right we have a lot of these OP guild quest characters coming out in guild quest we literally just got the right to design for the Espada Guild Quest, but we don't have a Nad character with a boost SA2. At least a good one that is somewhat recent. Because right now, our only options is basically TLA Broken, who's super outdated, and Osin and Now, who again is a tad bit outdated and isn't a Nad character. What we need is someone like TLA Jushiro, Soifon, for example, the Safri Soifon for the Espada Guild Quest, and that's why I've come up here with this particular character. Give him that SA2 boost, and the Espada Killer is basically all this character needs for people to actually summon on him for the sole purpose of just helping you out in the Espada Weaker Guild Quest. Whether that's the immediate or ranged one, it doesn't matter. He is going to be doing the job by providing that SA2 boost. And again, alongside that, I just kind of made him a tad bit too cracked by giving him, you know, 60% Bruiser with an additional 20% Bruiser, which is 80% Bruiser and Flurry Plus 2 with the Booster SA2. I don't think that's going to happen, but, you know, I just thought, let's just do it. And at the same time, I'm just rounding it up by giving him weakened defense in his Sol Bomb just because, why not? I need to give him an extra skill, right? Um, as for his innate skills, he probably just have some immunities, and that's basically about it. So yeah, that's basically my design aspect when it comes to Eban. And as for his affiliation, I went with Aranka and also Quincy for the main purpose because he is kind of both. Like he is a Quincy-ish, and he is part of the Sturmwriters, and he is he was an Aranka, right? So it really depends on how Caleb wanna handle his affiliations. They could just make him an Aranka, they could just make him a Quincy slash Sturmwriter, or they could make him an Aranka Quincy or an Aranka Sturmwriter. It really depends on what they want to do. For me, though, I just went with the best of both worlds and gave him an Aranka slash Quincy affiliation. But either way, if Caleb don't make him like this, I think Eban would be quite a fun character. They might make him arena base for the most part. I'm not entirely too sure. He does have a really cool weapon, so it would be nice to see that in game and see how that does play. And then lastly, we have Kuoge. And again, I don't think that's how you pronounce his name, but I will correct myself when the anime does come out and we do get to hear him and how they say his particular name. So um, this is the character I think a lot of people are looking forward to. He's a really cool Quincy that starts off the, you know, the stern roots and stuff like that. And I feel like he deserves a really good treatment. Now, for some reason, 
I'm not sure why. I just expect him to be a blue character. That's just how I see it. Like, it's it's just the way it is. Giselle, I can only see being a heart character. Meninas, I can only see her being a power character. And in Kroge's case, I can only see him being a speech character. Is that guaranteed to happen? No, not sure. But that's just what I'm going with. Now, for me, I give him a Sorpa Killer. So, if he is going to be a speed character, we have a... We don't have that many, like, super broken speed characters, but we did literally just get an Uryu. And Uryu is an Aranka slash no affiliation character. So, we don't... If we want Kroge to be hyped, Kroge is going to be hyped regardless, but in terms of killer attribute combination, if we want it to be more exciting and doesn't get overshadowed by someone like Uryu, for example, I think a great way to make him unique and stand out a bit is by giving him a Super Killer, which makes sense because he does fight against Ichigo. At the same time, they could give him a Ronka Killer because he does go against the Rankas, but again, I feel like sorry, but makes the most sense here, and it would make him more ideal in a lot of people's eyes because we don't really have a powerful speed character with the Super Killer. Like, I think one of our still best characters is Fifth Anniversary Ichigo, who's basically two years old at this point. So by giving him a Sopra Killer, again, that would make him a tad bit exciting. For his attacks, I gave him Paralysis and also Weakening, just because I want him to have two stars on it. He is the Jailer, so Paralysis kind of makes sense, right? Because he kind of like traps you, he gels you. <laughs> so I think Paralysis makes sense. And to combo in with that with a Weakening stars on it, that would also be really cool in my opinion. As for the way the character is designed, this is essentially what I went with. Again, not sure if they're ever going to do this, but let's just see what I said. So I gave him a 40% Berserker with Frenzy plus one, which is the standard. And I gave him the spiritual pressure boost, right? So we another speed character with the spiritual pressure boost. But I'm also giving him full stamina only, increased strong attack damage plus 40%. And I'm not giving him a way to stay at full stamina. So it's kind of like a risk, a high risk, high reward type of thing. You're going to be at full stamina from the get-go. And you're going to be able to do a lot of damage. Like, like a lot of damage. Frenzy plus one with the spiritual pressure boost with 40% Berserker. On top of that, extra strong attack damage plus 40% would be kind of too cracked in my opinion. But if they did that, that'd be kind of fun to see. And I guess to balance it out, he has no built-in ways to stay at full stamina. I gave him weakened defense, sharpshooter, complete stats immunity that you can share for your entire team, and also devastation 40. So that's basically the idea that I have with this character. No new mechanics, because again, I can't come up with new mechanics. I don't know what Kelab could do, so that's why I can't come up with any. So we're just going with mechanics that are already in the game as of right now. What I would really love to see with this particular character too, because Kroge does... He has three forms. He has his normal form, he has his Volstan Ditch form, and then he also does have his Ion Absorbed form. And it'd be really cool to get a transforming Quilge if they wanted to do that. I don't see them doing it. The way I see this character being introduced in the game is that naturally in the game, he's going to be in his, you know, Volstan Ditch form. But then when he uses this Soul Bomb, that's when he absorbs Ion, and that's when he goes into that monstrous form. But it's only going to be in his special. But if they really wanted to make this character unique and cool, give him a transforming Soul Bomb. It has been almost three years since we've gotten our last transforming character by the Soul Bomb, and that would be a really cool way to reintroduce it back into the game. But other than that, that's basically just what I want to see in a Quill game, and not really sure what I can expect with these characters, but that was just a little short experiment, a little theory video, prediction video on what we could potentially see with these characters. In the comments below, let me know what you like to think about these ideas of characters, and let me know what you want to see in terms of the character, and what you want the characters to get. Again, for me, the main thing, and the best way to sell this banner, is give us a new Ichigo with a transfer mechanic with the new anime colors. If they do that, I'm going to be happy. Regardless they make the character good or bad, regardless of what skills or strong attacks this character gets, I don't care. As long as they do that, that's going to be some really cool fan service in my opinion. And Quilge, I'm interested to see what route they take in him. But with that said, hope you guys did enjoy the video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.